So what are wired off-road electric conversion kits? Woo! Man, this thing definitely rips. That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with EV tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. In this video, we'll be visiting Wired Off-Road, a Michigan-based company that produces bolt-on electric conversion kits for gas dirt bikes. We'll talk about their experience, the benefits of electric conversion kits, and take a tour of their facility. Want to know what it's like riding a 20 horsepower electric dirt bike? Stick around to find out. So we're here at Wired Off-Road, located in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Today we'll be talking with David and Vince, who are dirt bike riders, mechanical engineers, and owners of Wired Off-Road, where they produce an electric conversion kit for the popular Kawasaki KX85. So let's get to it. Vincent, my business partner, and I started this company to convert gasoline dirt bikes to electric. I had an old dirt bike that had a blown engine. It was just sitting in my garage year after year. I was tired of tinkering with the thing. I was just done with it. But I got inspired and I decided to convert it to electric. It was the first electric motorcycle I'd ever been on. It sold me within 30 seconds. <laughs> it was just so much fun, the instant torque. And I wasn't disturbing anyone and so I was able to enjoy my passion of off-roading whenever I wanted. the gas dirt bike to electric in the case of our KX85, our flagship model. The torque is just where the fun's at. If you're familiar with motorcycles and dirt bikes uh, that are gasoline powered vehicles, they have a clutch and they have a transmission. Like as far as a carburetor on a gas engine, that's gone. What is it that you're enjoying when you're riding? Are you sitting there riding going, oh man, like it's just this sound right now. I'm just so into the sound. Or are you into the speed, the power, the turning, just the freedom of uh, motion on two wheels? It's just what's the platform or medium? You know, it just happens to be electric. The example of the KX85, you can buy a used one for a thousand bucks on Facebook Marketplace, maybe less with a blown engine. This is a tried and true tested bike. It was built to race. All the aftermarket support is there with bikes that are well over a decade, decade and a half old for a good reason. Now that we've proven out we can do this, then we can easily move on to the next model, which is gonna be a full size 250 adult bike. So compared to a gasoline dirt bike, the operation of this is the same minus a clutch and your shift lever. Your front brake is still at the same location and your rear brake is at the same location. So all we do is we rotate this big red power switch all the way 270 degrees until the arrow's pointing to the right. That means your main power is now connected. Right now when you look at the screen, there's a display here that'll show you which power setting you're in and whether or not you're in drive. While the key is off, you cannot move the vehicle. So this is a safety feature. So to get this thing operational, all we do is rotate the key 90 degrees. And then the drive. The drive light lights up. Like Power is live. If you twist the throttle, it's gonna go. As far as the operation of this goes, there's four power settings. And you'll see the number of the power setting that you're in on the display. Along with the display is a readout for your miles per hour, your trip mileage. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a rough gauge for uh, how many amps the battery is drawing, as well as a battery meter on this side, and that has bars indicating every 10% of your battery's charge level. There's four power levels. Slide it between one, two, and three, and the corresponding number that you're in will show up on the display. And then if you wanna go into the highest power mode, which is setting four, you hit that green
green S button shows up on the display. And in order to get back to one, two, three, you just need to hit that button once more. And another unique thing that you won't find on a gasoline dirt bike is reverse. Mm -hmm. So there's a button on the throttle labeled R. The most important thing with the operation of reverse is that you hold this button the entire time that you're trying to go in reverse and you just slowly actuate the throttle and release your throttle completely before releasing the reverse button. So don't release reverse until you're ready to go forwards again. When you buy a kit online, you can expect to receive three packages. One is the battery, the switch, the motor controller, and our gas tank replacement will already be integrated together and packaged. There's no welding, there's no machining, there's no grinding. There's no irreversible modification when you do the conversion. It's just all bolt-on stuff. You don't have to go and take 10 trips to the hardware store to get this thing put together. If you have a basic toolkit and the box that we ship to you, you'll have everything that you need to transform that vehicle from gasoline to electric. As someone who's never sat on a dirt bike or a pit bike before, this feels really comfortable. I already feel like the components are built for this kind of power. Uh, suspension feels really, really good. Let's turn the key on, we're on power level one. Okay. Very, very smooth. I think the tune is like perfect. So whatever tune you guys use is like perfect for this bike. Uh, center of gravity feels really good. I feel like comfortable kind of leaning in. A lot of control. I dig the turning radius on this bike. Yeah. <laughs> you already feel all the power from this motor. You definitely feel like this thing wants to go. I'm not sure how many kilowatts I have on level two, but definitely feels manageable if you're just sort of like trying to go slow or do some technical riding. Let's put it on level three. Definitely feel more power there. I like this, this feels comfortable. Woo! <laughs> All right, yeah, this thing, this thing has a lot of power. I've never used like a foot brake before, so I'm just trying to get used to that. <laughs> super smooth, super quiet. I definitely think people who are used to riding around with dirt bikes can absolutely maneuver this thing. Definitely get this thing on a trail. <laughs> Highly recommended. Man, this thing definitely rips. There's like not enough room to really uh, <laughs> put this thing at its maximum potential. This kit is super sweet. I mean, it feels so smooth. Just in terms of like the performance, it doesn't feel like something that's an add-on or even a kit. It just feels like a natural part of the bike where the battery is situated, where the motor is situated and the controller, it just feels like in perfect alignment with this frame. I'm really impressed with this kit. And if they start expanding this kit to fit even more bikes, I can see this thing being just like the perfect modification for someone who wants that balance of price and performance. I think starting with this base model Kawasaki that you can find on Facebook Marketplace and then putting this kit on, I think that would be a great option for anyone who kind of wants maximum power right before they start getting into the hobby. people out there who say that tinkering with it is half the fun. That might really be true for some people, but I think at the end of the day, that might just be people settling for what they know and what they're used to, and the change maybe sounds a little uncomfortable to them. Going electric allows you to ride a lot more than gas, whether that's less maintenance, less wrenching time, or whether that's like you can ride later or earlier in the day because of noise. And that's a beautiful thing, being an adult with a busy life, not having to spend that extra time just maintaining the vehicle to do what you ultimately enjoy. It really opens up a lot of opportunity to just get on the bike more and have more fun. As one of a growing number of electric vehicle companies that are based in Michigan, Wired Off-Road has shown that they've spent a lot of time to create a kit that not only provides high performance specs, but also has a thoughtful creative design. Big shout out to David and Vince for supporting the flourishing e-bike community with their conversion kits. If you want to dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.